So here it is in the back of that airplane, those two loadmasters, they are each posting up on those doors to look out for threats as we are about to descend into Baghdad International Airport. At 50 feet, I then transition my eyes to the end of the runway, and as I look towards the end of the runway, I begin to start bringing the nose of the aircraft up slightly, start decreasing the power of that aircraft to set up for the perfect landing. As we are two to three feet off that runway, all of a sudden we hear, go around, go around, go around. In that moment, you don't think, you don't hesitate. You immediately bring the aircraft to seven degrees nose high. You add full power, and as you add full power, you look over and you say flat 50. As we start climbing away from the ground and start deconfiguring the aircraft to ensure that we can safely get away from whatever the threat was. And as we are about 1,000 to 1,500 feet above the ground safely, it is only then that I can ask the loadmaster, load. Why did we go around? Have you empowered your people to be able to make decisions like we in the military have done with our loadmasters? When I talk about no-fail trust, that is predicated upon three things. First, you have to be able to trust the training. Then you have to be able to trust the process. And after that, you have to be able to trust the people. Flying airplanes for me, it's been a way of life for more than 20 years. I've had the pleasure, I've had the fortune to be able to do some amazing things in my career. But the thing that I want you all to walk away with when you look at that slide is that those accomplishments would not have been possible without the right people. Our people, they are our most precious cargo, and are we equipped to ensure that they can sustain the inevitable turbulence that they encounter on their mission towards success? Starting with creativity, access, responsibilities, then goals, then opportunities. And we're going to dig deep into each one of these areas and how that helps us empower no-fail trust within our organizations. As we provide them with the opportunity and space to be creative, we empower them to be able to solve problems at the lowest level by utilizing their innate creativity. Commitment and trust is one of the most important things that we can do to have high levels of productivity. And one simple thing that we can do is provide access to the right tools and the right resources. Responsibility is, it's a little bit more broad, it's very interesting. In the special operations world, we bring together a wide variety of people to execute a mission. And here's the thing, when we bring those people together for that special operations mission, we don't care what anyone's rank is. What we care about is what their capabilities are. We look at each person as a capability. And when we look at them in their capability statement or what they have the ability to do for this mission, we then look at how we assign the level of responsibility based on their capabilities. Succinctly, that loadmaster will tell you, pilot, the reason we went around was because there was something that you could not see. That loadmaster, that 17, 18, 19 year old kid fresh out of high school, that frontline worker for you and your organization, that person is able to see something that we in that front seat in that corner office cannot see. And it is our job to trust them to make a decision, trust them when they tell us to go around, trust them because we've given them the right training We've given them the right process, and because of that, we can trust them, the people, to tell us to go around in that moment to ensure that we prevent a catastrophe from happening. So as leaders, we can further empower our people by giving them a level of responsibility that they will bring themselves up to. And when we understand that and we allow our people to be responsible for the things that are best suited for them for that mission at hand, we begin to realize that we're providing our people with the right cargo to succeed.